It was supposed to be a day of joy. July 9th, Jessica Ross went into labor, hoping to welcome her first child. Their dreams and hopes turned into a nightmare um, that was covered up by Southern Regional Medical Center. A lawsuit filed Wednesday morning alleges the baby got stuck during labor. And despite signs of distress, Dr. Tracy St. Julian continued to try and pull the baby out. The clear and obvious answer is to perform a C-section. This is what's done all the time. And that was not done in this case, and it should have been. Susan Witt is a medical malpractice attorney who examined the case for us, which claims that when the doctors finally did perform a C-section hours later, they found the baby decapitated. I have never heard of a situation that has where the result has been a decapitation. Instead of telling the couple, the lawsuit says doctors tried to cover up what happened, telling them that they didn't have a right to a free autopsy, encouraging cremation, and even concealing what happened when they asked to see the body. When they wrapped this baby up tightly, they propped the baby's head up on top of the, of the blanket to make it appear as though the head was actually attached when it wasn't. That is an attempt to defraud and deceive the family. The family says it wasn't until a funeral home raised the red flag that the parents would learn the truth. Four days after she first went into labor. I think this is one of the most outrageous situations that I've ever seen in my 25 years of practicing law. Michael Downa, Channel 2 Action News this morning. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.